Hello, and welcome to the Green Building Research Institute's webinar, Building Information, Modeling for Green Buildings. I'm Rebecca Joan Brown, and I'll be guiding you through this course today. This is a two CE hour course in the Project Systems and Energy Impacts category, and will apply for two AIA learning units as well for sustainable design. All reporting information will be available to you after you pass the quiz through the or on demand profile. When, while you can retake this quiz as many times as necessary, you will need to earn 80% or more in order to get credit for course completion. This course is designed to be an overview of the applications and functionality of Building Information Modeling, or BIM, particularly as it relates to the green building industry and to lead projects. We will begin by looking at a few of the problems in the design and construction industry that BIM was developed to solve, and then we will move on to a discussion of the uses and benefits that BIM can offer a project. In the last section, we will focus on BIM's application to lead projects and how it can be used to create or complement lead documentation. Prior to the emergence of BIM technology, Designers and engineers used various other languages to describe the geometry and technical aspects of buildings. Hand-drafted plans and blueprints were a way to communicate detailed ideas in a concise format prior to the digital age. However, these forms of communication are time-consuming, and any changes to the project meant a lot of man-hours would need to be put into re-representation. There was also a limited ability to represent a visual idea of a finished product, so watercolor renderings and handmade models were often created to supplement technical drawings. CAD programs made technical drafting simpler and allowed for easier sharing of construction documents, but still required that several drawings be altered any time that design changes were needed. Aesthetic representation also became significantly easier with CAD technology but many designers still used physical models for client representation and to promote the design. 3D modeling programs made visual representation easier and less time consuming and has become increasingly sophisticated. In addition to easier visualization for the finished product, 3D modeling can help designers and engineers to visualize how building components will fit together more easily. Although BIM is typically associated with particular software programs and systems, it is, in reality, a term which describes a specific project method which is aimed at simplifying the design and construction process. At its core, BIM can be described as a system that creates a shared mental model amongst the members of the project team. There are systems, software, and practices that have been created to accommodate this construction system most notably Revit, Ecotech, Tecla, Archicad, and Navisworks. The information model is the critical element in this system, a single place for all of the information and details associated with a project to be aggregated. We will now look at a case study of a project that used BIM technology throughout the project lifecycle. The Benjamin D. Hall Interdisciplinary Research Building is a LEED Gold project that also won a BIM award in 2007 from the AIA for Technology and Architectural Practice. The project is a 150,000 square foot education facility that operates as a core and shell project so that each lab can be designed for the specific needs of the researcher. The project was set up as a design, build, operate, maintain competition and required a 30-year fixed cost of operation. 